I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm like 20 minutes from home and it's a huge rainstorm and look, look at that. This is the road right now. It goes right across and people's houses are right there. So I'm like 20 minutes from the house and this is what I've been dealing with all day. A car is trying to go through, but that's insane. A town called Port Deposit and it is just coming through. So, almost going to make it home, make sure everyone's alright, and we'll get there. Insane, I can't believe that. What's up guys, it's Gina, I'm gonna do a little bit of commentary for you. I did bring my camera on this trip and it was honestly so much fun. So I flew down there on Thursday and this is Friday, we're in Charleston right now. And this is one of the markets that they always have open. This wasn't just a random day and we got lucky and they had all this set up, but people set up little booths every day with all their arts and crafts and everything. It was such a good environment. Everyone is so friendly. I had an awesome time there. And then we're gonna see right here, this is actually like flavored soda. So there's ranch dressing soda, bacon soda. I, mean, I didn't try any, there's pumpkin pie, sugar cookie. My friend who lives down there, she said she's tried it. She said it's some of it's okay, but I just thought that was pretty interesting. But the people are great down there. If you've ever been down to South Carolina or the Charleston area, comment below. Let me know some other places because I definitely want to head back maybe even as early as this summer because it's just a great atmosphere. So many neat things to see and such a little time. It's hard to get around to everywhere. Now what you see right here, I accidentally videoed this in slow motion. So this is at like 20 times speed. But what they're doing right now is actually taping a commercial for J.C. Penney. So it's pretty cool, a bunch of uh, Abraham Lincolns there, they're all setting up. When we headed to the back, now we're behind it, there was a coffee shop. So we grabbed some coffee and I went to film a little bit and we were told that we had to walk yeah. back inside and wait until they were done. But I was able to get this part, so I guess this is their commercial. So it looked pretty cool. So keep an eye out for that, see if you see it on TV. So that was Charleston on Friday and then we head to dinner which was really nice. They had live music pretty much at every restaurant we went to. They had a band come in at 8 o'clock. And I want to stress that, yeah, I went on a trip, a vacation, you know, spring break. People will think of, of, you know, eating bad and drinking and all that stuff, but you can, you can plan around it and you can make it work. For instance, right here, you can always choose to eat healthy when eating out. So I get the grilled uh, chicken, which was great, and I got pilaf, rice, vegetables. It was very good. Chicken, chicken was actually pretty spicy, but not too bad. Um, I kind of had a bad seat because the singer was blocked right there, but they're starting to set up and everything. Really nice. I think these guys are there every weekend, but music was great. Environment was great. So I'm definitely excited to go down there again. I, and like I said, yes, this was a vacation. I didn't work out or anything, but that's okay. You can make it work. This was a bar that we went to. It was covered with money, which is really cool. Everyone put like dollar bills and then signed it. So then the next day, left Charleston, headed back to Myrtle Beach. And what is a day without Chipotle? I mean, you got to have it, right? That's a staple for any uh, YouTuber, especially in the fitness industry. And, you know, some people will be worried, oh, I haven't worked out in a while. Now I'm going to get Chipotle. 
I'm going to lose all my gains, going to get fat, whatever, but you're not. I didn't work out four days, and I wasn't worried about it. I got a bowl with white rice, double chicken. Uh, I got a little bit of black beans, lettuce, and that was it. I got a tortilla on the side, but since we ate outside, it kind of got stale, but that's all right. And then this was Sunday when I left, waiting at the airport, and I can't have deli meat because of fructose intolerance. So I got just the chicken with banana peppers, cucumbers, and spinach on a wheat bun. Just waiting at the airport. It was such a great trip. This is taking off. It was so pretty. When I left, it was probably 65 degrees down there. The next week is going to get into the 70s. But I just want to stress that you guys can have fun. You don't have to worry about counting every little thing that you do, every little thing that you eat. You know, it's all about balance and having fun because if, at the end of the day, if you're not having fun, then what's the point of it? You just want to wake up and enjoy what you're doing and just have fun with it and, you know, see yourself progress. That's what it's all about. And this trip really showed me that, that I can go and do things like this and I not get stressed out about not lifting or anything. So I hope you guys enjoy this commentary. Kind of just wanted to take you guys through it and, you know, have you guys there with me because that's what it's all about, sharing my experience so please leave it a like and see you guys in the next video. Do you start? Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit different, but stay tuned for Wednesday, 9 a.m. Right, Ace? Wednesday, 9 a.m. This is our new puppy we just got. He's a chocolate lab. His name is Ace, but... Wednesday 9 a.m. will be the next video back in business. Please give this video a like if you did enjoy it. Comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Right, Ace? Don't forget to subscribe. And likes help the channel. Well, he's tired. I'm going to go. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep going, keep going.